Okay, in this video, we're going to cover side loading of apps onto the Motorola Atrix 4G with AT&T. Now, previously, you couldn't side load any apps onto it, but with the Android Gingerbread update that recently came down, you can actually do side loading of apps. And supposedly, you can actually use Netflix on the phone too. Let me actually check the Android market. And we're going to see if we can download Netflix. Now, I actually don't have a Netflix account. I don't use Netflix. I don't watch movies enough uh, to warrant subscribing to it. I basically just do my stuff a la carte uh, from Amazon.com. Or actually, I have a local Blockbuster video that I can use uh, that I rent my videos from. But we're going to look up Netflix on here. And I'm going to download the app here. It's a free install. And I'm going to hit OK there. Now it's downloading the app. Like I said, I don't have an account, but I'm just going to see if I can, how far I can get into the app. And I guess now this phone is able to play movies from Netflix. Personally, it's not uh, something I think I'd ever do is watch a video or a movie on my cell phone because the screen is just too small and I'd much rather watch it either on a laptop or a larger screen uh, television. So this isn't necessarily for me, but for those of you who are interested, you can actually do that now. Let me click on the Netflix app here, and I'm going to open it, and let's see what it looks like here. It's loading up. Okay. Uh, I guess you just have to sign in there, and from what I've heard, you can actually use Netflix on the device now. But that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to show you how to sideload apps onto this device. Now, one of the main places that you can do that from is the Amazon App Store, the Amazon Android App Store. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and use the web browser, and we're going to go to Amazon.com. Okay, I'm on the Amazon web page now, and I chose the desktop version. I didn't want to do the mobile version. And over here on the Shop All Departments menu over here, it says App Store for Android. I'm going to click on that, and it shows Apps, Games, and Amazon Apps. I'm going to click on Apps here, and what I need to do is I need to download the Amazon App Store. Okay, so I'm on that page now, the Amazon App Store for Android, and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, and I'm going to show you here, it says Get Started. It says Get Started, Download the Amazon App Store. So right here in this box, it says Enter your mobile number or email. I'm going to click on that and show you here, it gives me this dialog box here that says what happens next. After submitting your email address or phone number, you will receive a message with a link to download the Amazon App Store for Android. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my phone number in there and it should send me a text message with a link to download the Amazon App Store. So I'm going to do that and I'll join you when I have clicked on that link. Okay, here's the text message that I got. I'm going to click on that link contained in the text message. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Now up in the notifications bar up here, it showed that it downloaded and of course the successful installation of Netflix. That was earlier. Let me dismiss that. But it says Amazon App Store release.apk. So the download's complete, but I need to install it now. So I'm going to click on it. Now it says install blocked. For security, your phone is set to block installation of applications not obtained from Android Market. Now, this is a security measure, so what you need to do is you need to unblock it. So you're going to go to Settings here. Okay, on the top here, the first one says Unknown Sources. Allow installation of non-market applications. Well, the Amazon App Store for Android is a non-Android Market App Store. So you're going to have to click on that, and it brings up this dialog box. It's a warning. It says, attention, your phone and personal data are more vulnerable to attack by applications from unknown sources. You agree that you are solely responsible for any damage to your phone or loss of data that may result from using these applications. I'm going to hit OK, and now the checkbox is checked. Now you're able to download apps from the 
Amazon App Store for Android. And Amazon offers a free paid app every day, so that's a nice little feature there. Now, if you're security-minded, I had mentioned this in my previous video about the Amazon App Store for Android when it first came out, and I did, the, did a video on the Motorola Zoom tablet with it. But if you're security-minded, what you can do is you can always go back to these settings once you're done browsing the Amazon App Store for Android, which is a mouthful, and uh, once you're done browsing it and maybe buying or downloading something from there, you can always unclick this here, and then that will lock down your phone again and not allow you to download from any App Store other than the Google App Store, basically. So that's a good way, like I said, if you're security-minded, you can toggle this on and off at will, and that way you, you know that things are pretty much in, the control is in your hands. But for this purpose, to actually use the Amazon App Store, we've got to do that. So let's go out from here. So now we want to go back to that text message, click on the link, and it'll bring up the Amazon App Store download, and it downloads it up here. And let's go to the notifications area here. The Amazon App Store release to APK. Let's click on that, and now you're ready to install it. So it says, do you want to install this application? I'm going to hit install here. And there you go. You're installing the Amazon Android App Store or Amazon App Store for Android. Application installed. Go to open. And there we go. You can get a free paid app every day. So what you want to do then is just sign in with your Amazon account. If you don't have one, create one and you're ready to go. So that's how you can sideload apps onto the Motorola Atrix 4G now that it has the gingerbread update. So that pretty much does it for this video. I will see you next time.